Howdy folks. Today we got another fun ice video. I was at the grocery store and I saw this bottle of water that's got this fun like glacier top. Um, this is like spring water from Iceland, I guess. Why we need to import water from Iceland? I don't know. We got water here. Whatever. I'm part of the problem. I bought this bottle of water. Anyway, my idea was I thought we could uh, cut the top off here and just flip it over and stick it in the bottom, insulate this, and we'd get a nice, fun, you know, glacier shape. Let's try it out. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just take this label off. I don't know, we don't need this label. First step is to drink the water. It's important to stay hydrated. So this ended up working out pretty good, but I did go through a few iterations of the plan. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just show you uh, the problems I had and the mistakes I made. I'm not trying to pretend like I'm some ice genius. Yeah, so come along on my journey. So plan A for this was just to cut the top off, flip it over, shove it back down into the bottom part of the bottle, uh, put that into a beer koozie, and just go ahead and make some ice. Now this immediately ran into some problems. Uh, turns out the top of the bottle, the glacier part, was actually too wide to shove down into the bottle, so I couldn't really make as big of an ice cube as I wanted to. An ice glacier, I should say. Uh, the second and more pressing problem is that uh, it wouldn't fit into my koozies. This this uh, water bottle is just is too large. So I decided I had to get a yogurt container and that I would try and insulate around the yogurt container with some packing foam that I have. Um, this worked okay, but uh, as you'll see, it didn't really insulate well enough and the ice didn't come out that good. And then I ran into a secondary problem, which was that when I filled uh, it up with water, the top, the glacier part, lifted up like it was f floating out of the water. So that's no good. Uh, so I had to go ahead and put in, put on some rubber bands to try and hold it down. Yeah kind of janky, but we're doing our best here. So the next day after uh, letting it temper and running some water over it, I ran into another problem. Uh, it turns out right at the base of this uh, water bottle, there's a little like area that juts out. It's a little wider at the bottom. Uh, so I couldn't, I was having a lot of trouble getting the ice out. I had to run hot water around the bottom to melt that little sticky outy piece. If you are gonna do this method with water bottles you really have to get one that's completely straight sided otherwise you can't get the ice out of the bottle. Anyway I eventually got it out and I had to chip away the uh, base I guess you'd say uh, and when I eventually got the ice out I found that there's like a cloudy layer around the outside. I think that it wasn't insulated enough at the top of this contraption I built, so back to the drawing board. Okay, plan B uh, was just to replace the square bottom of the original water bottle with one of my standard cylindrical water bottles. I had a similar problem where it was lifting up out of the bottle when I put the water in, so I used some rubber bands again. Uh, once I melted the outside a bit, it was a lot easier to get out, and it came out uh, a lot clearer because, uh, as we know, the beer koozies insulate really well. Uh, I again had to chip off the sort of bit around the top, and here it came out pretty good. Uh, nice and clear. It does have this sort of weird knob at the top from the neck but it is a good sort of diameter for the glass, which I like, but I would like it to be a little taller. 
Uh, so I think I might have to put a base on this, so on to plan C. Okay, so plan C, I need to cut off the wider part of the glacier so I can shove it down inside the cylinder. This will mean I can make a little base that's, you know, a cylindrical base at the top. Uh, and I should be able to insulate that really well with the koozie. And so that should give me uh, the right sized glacier to fit in my glass. Uh, now, this worked pretty well. I was able to wedge the glacier into the cylinder. Uh, I left about, a, I don't know, a one inch gap there at the top. Uh, so we can shove this in the koozie and uh, see how it goes. So the next day, uh, get it out of the koozie, let it temper, uh, run a little water over it to loosen it up, uh, cut off the cloudy ice, and then get out the chipper and chip off the unwanted bit that's outside the glacier mold, and here we go. Uh, that looks pretty good. It's a pretty good size. I uh, sawed off the little nubbin off the top, and we've got like this pretty cool ice glacier. All right, let's check these out. Now, I figure there's two ways of doing this. You can either put the mountain side up, uh, or you could put the mountain side down. Now, mountain side up, uh, it might end up floating up if we don't freeze it to the glass. I'm gonna see if we can just make a smaller drink like a old fashioned or something and see if we can get it to not float, have a nice mountain sticking out, we'll see. Option two is to have it float intentionally, so have the glacier pointing down and uh, see how that works. Uh, for that, you'd want more of a drink. I think I'll make just, I'll just make a quick Negroni and uh, see how that goes. Uh, the advantage of that is you'll have a nice flat surface on the top that you could, if you carve if you wanted to, you could carve it into sort of a more of a diamond shape. Uh, or you could stamp your initial on top like I'm gonna do. So. You know, let's mix a couple up. I did a uh, dance dance revolution for the small one, and you can see it did float up like I was worried about. So I think the answer for that is to freeze it to the glass like I did with the ice bear, if that's how you want to go. You know, the, the glacier doesn't read that well. It's still nice, clear ice, but it doesn't read like a glacier as much as I'd hoped. Mm, still tastes good. And then a groni, again, like, one, the glacier's pointing down. It's melting as we speak. And uh, it is nice clear ice, which is fun. Uh, and it has a nice surface for the stamp. And it doesn't fill the whole glass, which sometimes is an issue with these. I do, like you're most of the way to like a, a fun diamond, if you just carve the top, you know, the, the cylindrical base, if I carved some of that away, you'd have kind of an interesting diamond shape. That would uh, be pretty cool as well. Mm. The cronies are great. So final thoughts, ice glacier. All right, so not a total success, but I was able to make a fun ice mold from a water bottle, which is pretty cool. That's fun, we had fun. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for some other, you know, fun shapes out in the world that you can make a, an ice mold from. So thanks for joining me on my adventure. Feel free to like and subscribe, leave me a comment, I'm happy to answer any questions. And uh, we'll see you next time.